Alright, this is Anarchist Programmer from Omnimaga.org. Um, I'm going to be teaching you how to program on the calculator. Eventually, we'll be creating games for you to play, um, but for now, we're going to have to stick with the basics and teach you uh, all the functions, how to use variables, strings, and etc. Um, this is my first tutorial, so um, I'm going to be having a wee bit of it difficulty. I might ramble a little bit, but I hope you'll stay with me. Um, in the end, it'll all work out. Um, Alright, so we're going to start this all out by um, going with the Extreme Uber Basics. We'll hit Program and go to New. Uh, we'll name our program whatever we w you want. Mine's just going to be ABC because I'm lazy and unoriginal right now. Alright, from here we're going to uh, learn, well we'll start with the most basic of all the functions. If you hit program you'll go to this little list and it'll there will be several things under control. Uh, menu, uh, the input output menu, and the execute menu. First, we're going to go to input output and down to three, which is display. Here we can display uh, any kind of text, variables, numbers, or anything of the like that we want onto the actual screen itself. Um, we'll start with the quotation mark, which says that we're going to be displaying some kind of text here and we want exactly whatever's in the quotation marks to be shown. Um, we'll start with the simple hello world. Uh, that zeroes the space in case you haven't messed with calculators a whole lot. Also, um, if you see how everything I'm clicking will display a letter, that's because of second alpha, which is alpha lock. Uh, and it'll everything you hit will show will display whatever's in the green until you hit alpha again to get out of the alpha mode. Um, from here, that's basically our program. If you want to, you can uh, end the quotation marks, but for the display command, it's not necessary, um, and it takes up less space if you don't. I won't be throughout it, but if you want to be uh, more well. I don't know, orderly or organized, you can. Next, we'll hit second mode, which will quit out and uh, bring us back to our screen. From here, we can execute our ABC program. All you have to do is uh, go to it and hit enter. Now, as you can see, it displayed hello world properly. Also, as um, also, if you didn't see uh, it, display it still kept the program ABC and our and it would have kept anything else that might have been up there and uh, wow yeah anyway so that uh, could be pr uh, troublesome as you can see here um, that's uh, this is where our next function will come in handy um, first you need to learn about uh, insert which is second delete which uh, is the INS here now wherever uh, whatever you do at uh, these uh, at that point it'll insert something in our case we want to insert a space uh, above uh, uh, a line of code above um, where it says display hello world so we'll hit enter right at the beginning of that and that'll insert an enter we also if we want it it's also used to insert letters and stuff for example if we wanted to add an extra E or anything to that extent, we can with the insert. Play around with it and you'll figure out exactly how it works. Um, it'll be more than useful in uh, your programming endeavors. All right. Now what we want to do is above our display, we're going to uh, put in a clear home. This is under uh, input and output which is the IO number 8 and what this does is clear everything off the screen and uh, before it goes on so now in this case we still have all that junk up there we'll uh, hit it again 
this time it took everything off and put hello world and the done that indicates that the program's over. If you don't like that, we'll learn how to get rid of that later, but for now you're just going to have to deal with it. All right. So um, if you want to keep your little program, you can make a new one, but I'm deleting everything off of it because I'm not going to be keeping this for anything. Um, for right now, we're going to learn the next uh, important thing that will be used 100% in all your games. Um, and this is the how to store a variable. Um, all you have to do is whatever number you want to be stored into a, a letter, um, you type it out. In our case, we'll say 25. We want, then we'll hit the store, and then we'll use a letter. In my case, I use X a whole lot because um, not only can you hit alpha and store to create the X, you could also just hit this button right here, and it'll make an X. And I do that because it's a whole lot faster. And yeah, so um, all you have to do from there is hit enter and um, now 25 go is stored into X so every time we hit X 25 is there it can also be used in um, expressions so for example 2 plus X equals 27 um, and 2x which is 2 times X equals 50 um, it can also be done in the program uh, same thing happens. The difference is that at that point in the program it'll be stored and it won't be displayed on the screen or anything like that. But um, now you can use X as 25 for any of your needs. Um, this will be use. Uh, you can also use that with the display command to display X. Um, let's see. Well, I'll keep that X uh, 25 goes to X here and now what the program will do is set 25 uh, X to 25 and then it'll display X notice I didn't use a quotation mark because um, I'm using a variable instead of actual stuff that I want to be typed out so we'll run our program again and now it displays 25 because that's what X is